Uh, our own work at the NIH uh, has been uh, with uh, boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy who participated in an oligonucleotide trial. Uh, so a trial of treatment, uh, a treatment that was developed by Prosensa and the trial was organized by GSK. Uh, we took a subset of patients from that trial and had, saw them at the NIH and did a number of different uh, imaging uh, uh, applied a number of different imaging techniques, uh, MRI and ultrasound, to uh, the muscles and the legs and the arms, the diaphragm and the heart. And uh, this was part of the clinical trial. We did not see in the patients that we saw an effect of the treatment on the muscle imaging. Uh, it's the, word, the word is still out as to whether, how effective this treatment is. It's uh, still uh, being investigated. Um, but uh, we did develop new techniques which I think will be useful in future trials, uh, particularly uh, an exercise-induced muscle edema uh, measure, which uh, involves having the boys uh, exercise the muscle and then looking at changes in the muscle, changes in the water content of the muscle uh, while the exercise is going on and afterwards. Uh, we think it's a good uh, biological measure of, uh, of the, the defect in the Duchenne muscle, the problem in the Duchenne muscle, and it would be good uh, to see for this and, and future treatments uh, as to whether the treatment is working on that problem. I think our imaging biomarkers are useful adjunct, uh, useful in giving an early indication as to whether future treatments are being are effective. Uh, that could be put together, for example, with uh, muscle biopsies uh, that show dystrophin, to look at dystrophin levels, but it's a less invasive way of looking for a biological effect of future treatments. Ultimately, the treatment is going to, uh, the benefit of the treatment is going to have to be shown in a way that the patients and families can see it, uh, not just an effect on dystrophin levels or on muscle structure, but on muscle function and uh, how, how well the, ba the uh, boys who are affected by the disease are able to get around.